Hey everyone. So it's been about three days since we got back from the second half of our trip. And this is what the greenhouse is looking like. We have new lettuce coming up and you can see the older lettuce those tiny little babies is now all ready to be harvested and of course you can see all the cilantro and there's some licks coming up right there huge and then all the little well at the time little lettuce that I transplanted now looks like that and as an experiment I chopped off this spinach before we left you can see part of the ones I chopped off just to see what it would do and as you can see, it has new leaves. So when I'm harvesting, even my lettuce, I normally don't chop off the heads like most people do. I just take off a leaf at a time from the bottom and just let it keep growing up. Because And the lettuce seems to last longer that way. And I'm going to do the same with this lettuce right there and I might even share some of it with our neighbor because that's a lot of lettuce for us and there's more of it right there and right there and I finally have started getting radishes and you can see that one there so we're getting about four of them each day there's more there so I have the radish sprinkled all throughout the garden and there's more carrots right there and we have a spinach plant well several we have that spinach right there we have about four plants right there and then I have about four plants of Swiss chard and I'm finding that I don't need to plant like 10 or 20 of each item like between three and five keeps us going and as you can see my onions are starting to come up the short day onions right there and we have more radishes in the back and there's a tulip I have two tulips in here that are growing we have more lettuce right there and we have new cilantro coming up right there and then we have all this garlic that whole row of garlic going right there and as an experiment I did put out one tomato so my idea and I got this from my mom is I'm going to string my tomatoes horizontally as soon as it gets to the end I'll encourage you to go up and then start another row and so on and so forth so I have this posts that I'm putting in and that is what I'm going to use for the tomatoes that I'm growing this season and I have decided to try an experiment so I am completely rethinking how I'm going to do this greenhouse initially I had a plan and I, I knew exactly where I was going to put everything since everything is doing so well 
I decided as soon as one thing comes out, I'm going to put something else in place of what I just took out instead of waiting and trying to do one massive planting. And that way, whatever it is I want to grow will come up instead of having everything all together once. It will just gradually grow from one thing to the next. So I basically threw out the plan I had initially come up with. And we'll see how that goes. And so far it is going quite well. And speaking of that, you can see we have more spinach over here and more cilantro and there's a radish that is ready to go that one's ready to go and I have that space that I can put something in so I'm going to go in and look at the items I have started in the house and anything that is ready to come out I will just bring it out all the spinach no spinach lettuce that's lettuce and this lettuce was part of what was in that bag that I spilled from last winter which is all this here and it does look like I still need to get some of the and oh another thing when I looked in here I can see some more I don't know if you can see any of that it's kind of bushy man hard to see but I have more lettuce that is still trying to come up so I do need to go through here and I'm going to start off by picking most of this cilantro and preserving it and then I'm going to take the little lettuce that are still trying to come up and I'll put them in any empty spaces that I have and this year instead of growing the regular sized cabbage I decided I was going to grow those little tara cabbages because I have such a tiny space and there is the first one that is coming up and this is another one that is coming up I have a little bok choy right there that I should probably move a little distance away from that cabbage and another thing I have done is I'm putting my onions sporadically in the garden too you can see some more over there it's kind of getting all these several there and so my idea is because we have this pole here and I'm going to plant a tomato like right there and it will start climbing then I have that whole row right there and I'm just going to put my onions and that's what I had started doing over here you can see there's an onion right there right there there's another one I don't know if you can see that right there so put them in rows and then at the end of each row I'm going to have the tomato so we'll see how this goes and I will keep you updated on whether that is working well or not but that's my plan for this year oh and speaking of which I do have about five Chinese broccoli that I have planted and you can see one right there and there's a row of about five. Oh, yeah there they are That one right there and behind that little carrot there's another one right there 
there should be two more there's another one right there and I should have one more yeah I see it and I this carrot needs to go there's the other one so like I said I'm doing everything in threes or five otherwise I just end up with this overwhelming amount of vegetables that I either have to freeze or find a way to process or give away which is fine I don't mind sharing with the neighbors so I'm looking forward to the Swiss chard and that carrot needs to go because it's blocking the Swiss chard that I have in there I have like maybe three no one one two three Swiss chard so I think that is it for now and I will see you on the next one bye Tinnies